क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल वर्क्स ऑफ फिक्शन कंटेन रेफरेंसेस टू द प्रोग्रेशन ऑफ टाइम इंक्लूडिंग द टाइम ऑफ डे वेन इवेंट्स इन अ स्टोरी टेक प्लेस इन अ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी स्टडी एलन किम चरूटा पे थे एंड स्टीवन स्कीना क्लेम दैट एन ऑब्जर्वेबल पैटर्न इन सच रेफरेंसेस रिफ्लेक्ट्स अ शिफ्ट इन ह्यूमन बिहेवियर प्रॉम्प्टेड बाय द स्प्रेड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक लाइटिंग इन द लेट नाइनटीन सेंचुरी द रिसर्चर्स ड्रू दिस कंक्लूजन फ्रॉम एन एनालिसिस ऑफ मोर देन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड नॉवल्स स्पैनिंग मेनी सेंचुरीज एंड कल्चर्स यूजिंग सॉफ्टवेयर टू रिकग्नाइज एंड टैली बोथ स्पेसिफिक टाइम रेफरेंसेस दैट इज क्लॉक फ्रेजेस सच एज सेवन ए एम और टू थर्टी पी एम एंड इम्प्लाइड वन सच एज मैंशंस ऑफ मील्स टिपिकली एसोसिएटेड विद अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम ऑफ डे विच फाइंडिंग फ्रॉम द स्टडी इफ ट्रू वुड मोस्ट डायरेक्टली सपोर्ट द रिसर्चर्स कंक्लूशन इज इट ए नॉवल्स पब्लिश्ड आफ्टर द ईयर एटीन हंड्रेड इंक्लूड द क्लॉक फ्रेज टेन ए एम लेस ऑफ्टन दैन नॉवल्स पब्लिश्ड बिफोर द ईयर एटीन हंड्रेड डू बी नॉवल्स पब्लिश्ड आफ्टर एटीन एटी कंटेन सिग्निफिकेंटली मोर रेफरेंसेज टू एक्टिविटीज अकरिंग आफ्टर टेन पी एम दैन टू नॉवल्स फ्रॉम अर्लियर पीरियड्स सी अमॉन्ग नॉवल्स पब्लिश्ड इन द नाइनटीन सेंचुरी इम्प्लाइड टाइम रेफरेंसेज become steadily more common than clock phrases as publication dates approach 1900 d the time references of noon 12 pm and midnight 12 am are used with roughly the same frequency in the novels so what we observe is that the works of fiction contain references to progression of time including the time of day and in 2020 there is a study by alan kim charuta pite and steven skina and they have observed some pattern they uh, see that there is a shift of human behavior which is prompted by the spread of electric lighting so during day time activities were there and before the electric lighting people had to spend uh, the nights as you know in candles and uh, with non electric lighting but what happened after electric lighting has come so more people can go out and do other activities even in the night so researchers drew this conclusion from an analysis of more than 50000 novels so what they are using they are using software to recognize and tally both specific time references not only the time specific time like 7 am or 230 pm but also mention of meals which are associated with a particular time of day so breakfast will be for morning lunch will be for afternoon dinner will be for night time and then there's another thing called as supper which is uh, late night uh, food so that they are checking not only just the time because in novels time could be written or some meal could be written so they are checking so which should we choose if the study is true so if you said b well done that is the correct answer choice b is the best answer because it presents a finding that if true would most directly support the researcher's conclusion that an observable pattern in time references in novels reflects a shift in human behavior prompted by the spread of electric lighting in the late 19th century So if novels published after 1880 contain significantly more references to activities occurring after 10 pm than novels from earlier periods do this would suggest a change in human behavior and daily routines enabled by the availability of electric lighting before electric lighting which provided illumination more easily than other available forms of light many activities ceased after nightfall so references to late night activities would be less common in earlier novels an increase in such references after 1880 would align with the researchers conclusion reflecting an increase in late night activities made possible by electric lighting a is incorrect because a decrease in references to 10 am after the year 1800 would not support the researchers conclusion involving a shift in human behavior prompted by the spread of electric lighting toward the end of the 1800s The time of 10 a.m. is in the morning and in most places characterized by daylight so a change in references to that time would not be clearly linked to the impact of electric lighting. C is incorrect because while an increase in implied time references relative to clock phrases in 19th century novels could suggest a change in writing style or convention it does not directly support the conclusion involving a shift in human behavior prompted by the spread of electric lighting. The text indicates that the researcher's conclusion is based on the content of the time references themselves not the phrasing used. D is incorrect if references to noon and midnight are used with roughly the same frequency in all the novels analyzed by the researchers this would reflect a lack of change in human behavior with regard to time and therefore 
would not support researchers conclusion involving a shift in human behavior that occurred in response to the spread of electric lighting so the best answer novels published contain after 1880 contain significantly more references to activities occurring after 10 pm like maybe late night parties and those kind of things uh, started appearing in the novels after 1880